Fishy folks and welcome back to the channel. Today on Michael's Fish Room, mystery solved. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage and your water boots. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, welcome back. Today, mystery solved. Uh, in a previous video, I mentioned there was a water leak and I really couldn't find where it was it, and it wasn't that big of a water leak but there was definitely water on my workbench and on the shelf. <coughs> I'm fine. And I determined what the problem was. This was leaking. This is one of the um, three canisters or filters for my auto water change system. Uh, this was the first one, and you can't, you probably can't really see, but I'm going to attempt to show you. There's a couple of hairline cracks on the bottom, and because I'm cheap, uh, and it was going to take a day or two to get the correct part, I tried this uh, epoxy. This is marine epoxy, and uh, it didn't work. Uh, it didn't really stick. I'm actually peeling it off now as I'm talking to you. Um, so, yeah, that's probably why it didn't work, because it didn't stick, but... Anyway, I have a new one. Yeah, I just peeled it all off. So it's, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, install it correctly, use it correctly, but whatever, it's trash. But we do have a new one. And I got a clear one because I thought it was cool. I'd be able to see, uh, you know, what it looks like inside. So I'm going to go ahead and install this in the auto water change system. And uh, then I'll show you what I'm doing. So yeah, stand by. All right, fishy folks, I just want to show you what's going on. There are only two canisters, one carbon block and one sediment, or one sediment, one carbon block. I have to look and see. Um, and what I did is just added an extra piece of PEX. You can see over there the, the connection. And so what I'll do is I will uh, take that, take the PVC and PEX and uh, shark bite connector down. I will install the third filter canister and then measure the pecs if I have to even use pecs appropriately so it's not you know all cattywampus like it is over there it's hard to see with everything in the way this one is a little long I may while I have the water off I may trim it and uh, try to make it a little neater it doesn't really bother me but if I'm gonna have the water off and I'm gonna be able to do it easily I might as well do it so we'll see we'll see how that goes all right back to work well, in full disclosure, I had a bit of an accident. You see, I'm an idiot. It's just a fact. But I had this in between there and it was leaking from here. I put new uh, Teflon tape on. It still was leaking, so I took it off to clean it. And I decided I couldn't get a good enough job while it was up there, so then I disconnected it from there. Except there's the shutoff I was using. The water was on over there. So basically, I got freaking soaked. Want to see how soaked? Yeah. Like I took a shower. Soaked. Well, all right, fishy folks, you can hear water running. That is me just. Uh, flushing the system you can see water is going through the uh, the sediment filter and then we have two carbon block filters water is everywhere as you saw I got soaked some pumps running because I am uh, draining the water into the drain uh, another note this is a piece of crap don't ever buy it it broke and of course water was going everywhere uh, so Fish room's a disaster because it's a construction site right now, but luckily I had a spare Y uh, that I use for my garden. But, you know, I have the Y here and then I use the hose, you know, to fill tanks and stuff. And this I use when I bag fish uh, to add more water and stuff and to fill the dipping pours. So I went to turn this off because I had it on as a drain and I decided I want to shut it off, pressurize the system, make sure I don't have any leaks, which clearly I did. And I went to turn off and just snapped right off because of my monstrous strong hands. No, just because it's a piece of crap, so. All right, let's just take a quick look at the disaster. This is a disaster, but the next time you see it, it'll be clean. 
Um, and here probably will be clean too. Lucas likes to come down here and sweep up the fish room. I give him like five bucks and then he goes and buys Roblox, Robux. So, anywho, uh, that's looking good. I like the clear, uh, the clear canister. Uh, if hindsight was 2020, which it really is, I would have added a um, union right there, which I didn't do when I set it up, and I realized I should have, but I was able to finagle it so I didn't need it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't cut this because I completely forgot, so it's just going to be hanging out there like it has been. And uh, yeah, that's that. So, all right, that does it. I'm going to let the uh, you can hear the sump up running. I'm wasting water. Um, the instructions say let it run for 10 minutes. I'm going to let it run for another 5 minutes or so and then I will uh, test the system out. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions about my auto water change system and uh, we'll see you soon. Alright, fishy folks. In a previous video, uh, I think the tour video. Yeah, I know which video. Why am I sound, saying I think? Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to another video. Today, mystery solved. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. That's beverage. I don't know what the hell I said. <laughs>